Uh, so, okay, this is my the second in my series of how-tos on meditation. So the first um, the first clip was on basic sitting meditation, and I apologize that I'm restricted to 10 megabytes, no, 10 minutes on YouTube, so we weren't able to do a full three minutes or a few, few minutes of meditation. So in this one, I'm going to have you pause uh, when we do guided meditation. If you're interested, you can sit, push pause, and, and uh, sit for, have you sit for maybe 30 seconds or a minute or so. <coughs> So today I'm going to go over advanced techniques in sitting meditation. And they're not so advanced so that you should be scared away from uh, listening to this. It just means that once you uh, understand the basics of sitting meditation already, uh, then what do you do to uh, deal with the problems and the uh, phenomena, phenomena which arise during meditation? So last time we talked about the rising and the falling of the abdomen. And we use that as our meditation object, the thing rising, falling, as it rises and falls. Um, but the problem with that is, at the time when we're saying rising, falling, or when we're trying to watch the abdomen, our mind starts to wander. Sometimes we have pain or aching uh, in our body. Uh, sometimes we have thoughts, thinking about the past or thinking about the future, good thoughts, bad thoughts. And sometimes we have emotions arise, liking this, liking that, disliking this, disliking that, uh, drowsiness, laziness, distraction, or doubt. Uh, these sort of things will arise during the time, and many other things, but this is sort of an example. So all of these things I've mentioned, they come under a heading which is called the Four Foundations of Mindfulness. And this is a Buddhist term, um, but it's a meditation term. It's and very important thing in the practice of meditation. There are four foundations. Meaning is, during the time you're practicing, you have to uh, guard these four stations or these four foundations. Uh, what it means, the first one is the body. And this is what we're starting when we watch rising, falling. Uh, the point is, we can use this as our meditation uh, object. It's called the body. And this is very simple. This one we already understand. But what happens when we have feelings? Well, the second foundation of mindfulness is called feelings. And this means that what we, need, uh, we, we need to have an answer uh, to pain or aching or soreness that arises when we're sitting. And so this is our answer, is to use the pain as a meditation object. At the time when we feel pain in the legs or in the back or so on, instead of saying rising, falling, and focusing on the stomach, Instead, shift your attention to the, ri uh, to the pain or the aching, to the part of the body which is causing suffering. And say to yourself, pain, pain, pain. Say it calmly, say it uh, quietly in your mind. You don't say it out loud. Uh, only to keep the mind uh, fixed on the reality of the uh, object. The, the, the pain itself is not a bad thing. What, what, what creates suffering is when we start to say this pain is bad or this pain is me or this pain is caused by sitting meditation so sitting meditation is bad or so on. The pain itself is not bad and if we learn to become friends with it and learn, learn to, to uh, retrain our mind realizing that it's only pain and, and nothing else then we can be happy and we can be at peace. And this is called feeling. When we feel happy we can also say happy, happy when we feel calm we should also say calm, 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 being aware that these also are transitory. They're impermanent. They come and they go. And this is number two. Number three, uh, the third foundation of mind mindfulness. So we have body, we have feeling. The third one is the mind. So we have to have an answer for what, have, what to do when our mind starts to wander. When we're sitting but our, our mind is not with our, our body, our mind is not with the rising and falling. It's thinking this, thinking that. Uh, the answer is to say to ourselves, thinking, thinking, thinking. Yeah. And when we say thinking, 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 our mind will will come back to 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 reality. The thinking will disappear, and we'll come back. We can come back to rising and falling. But this helps us to see clearly about the mind, uh, to see clearly the nature of our mind, and we can start to see what make what is it that makes our mind? What sort of activities make our mind uh, distracted? Uh, and what sort of activities are going to bring uh, 
focus and tranquility to them. Yeah, this is the third foundation. The fourth foundation is called uh, called Dhamma, and it's um, specifically a, a Buddhist thing, but it means anything the mind takes as an object. It can mean anything. But in the beginning, we were focusing on those things which the mind will take as an object, which are important in meditation. We're only teaching meditation here. We're not trying to get into the Buddhist doctrine or philosophy or so on. Not, not, not in this uh, series. So there are five things which meditators have to keep in mind in the very beginning when they start to practice. And these are called, in, in simple terms, liking, disliking, drowsiness, distraction, and doubt. So liking, disliking, drowsiness, distraction, doubt. When these things, these things are important because when these come up in the mind, it will not be possible or it will be extremely difficult to keep the mind focused, to keep the mind with the present moment, with the object that we're trying to, uh, to watch. So uh, these things we have to uh, be aware of. And this is the fourth foundation. It's called Dhamma. These five things are called the five hindrances. They're part of the Buddhist teaching, part of the Dhamma. Uh, part of reality. So they're a part of reality that's important for meditators. So liking, if you like something, you want something, you know, we can say to ourselves when we're sitting, rising, falling, we start to like or we start to want, say to ourselves, instead of saying rising, falling, switch to say liking, 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 or wanting, wanting. Learn, teach yourselves to let go. Uh, retrain our minds not to uh, get, get fixed and get obsessed with things. Uh, number one. Number two, disliking. When we have disliking or anger or upset, so we say to ourselves, disliking, disliking, upset, upset, reminding ourselves it's only an emotion. There's no need to get uh, 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 overworked. There's no need to get uh, stressed out about this or, or freaked out or upset or so on. It's only an emotion. So we say disliking, disliking, and until it goes away. And the third one is called uh, is drowsiness. And so this is some people when they meditate they find themselves falling asleep. It's quite difficult and in the beginning you normally fall asleep when you meditate. This is normal. There's nothing wrong. It's uh, uh, the beginner mind or it's the, the, the beginning. It's a start to meditation. So when you feel drowsy, only say to yourself, drowsy, 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 drowsy. And try, try to uh, catch the nature of the drowsiness. And you find if you work on it, after some time, you, you can totally overcome the drowsiness. Of course, walking meditation helps, and that'll be my next episode. The fourth is called distraction. Distraction here is, we put a specific meaning on it. It means specifically when you're thinking too much, when you're thinking beyond what is normal, when the mind is not focused, cannot stay with any one object, it's thinking here, thinking there, thinking all over the place all the time. This we call distracted. This is also a hindrance in meditation. So we say to ourselves, when we feel distracted, we say distracted, distracted, distracted. And the fifth one is doubt. And doubt about ourselves, doubt about our practice, doubt about this, doubt about that. In, in, in meditation practice, doubt is a, is a hindrance. We're not talking about theology or philosophy or, or Buddhist um, doctrine or so on. We're talking about meditation. In meditation, doubt is a bad thing. In why? Because it it disturbs the concentration and the focus of the mind. So when we feel doubt, we have to say to ourselves, doubting, 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 doubting. This is, these together are the five hindrances. And they're the fourth foundation of mindfulness. So altogether we have body, feelings, mind, and mind objects. What are these? These are the basics of meditation practice in the Buddhist tradition.